KFW News at 11. Good evening, Dallas, and thank you for tuning in to DFW News at 11. I'm Jillian Crowder. And I'm Bridget Faust. Tonight, we will be taking an inside look on how North Texas is expanding opportunities for its young citizens with growing industries and advanced programs to create a brighter future for them. For our first story tonight, we are going to Armida Salamis Day, who sat down with a former student to discuss the experiences she has gained while in BPA, an association growing in popularity here in North Texas. Hello, my name is Armida Salamis Day, and I'm here with Mitzi Bracey today to speak about her accomplishments in BPA. Hi, how are you today? I'm great, how are you? I'm doing great. Um, so, how were you involved with BPA in high school? You know, I started as a freshman and just, you know, kept going through it, did a bunch of competitions, met a lot of great people, and then eventually, you know, kept going on and became regional pres president, and it was, it was really fun. That's great. Um, how did you learn about BPA? You know, I had a really good teacher um, as my keyboarding teacher when I was a freshman in high school. And I really didn't want to do, like, BPA. I was like, oh, that's not really my thing. I was, like, more into journalism and stuff like that. <laughs> and then she's like, no, you have to do it. You're so great at, you know, like, talking and everything. You would be great at it. So I eventually joined it. So <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I loved it. Did you have any specific interests? You know, I, she definitely talked about how much I was like really good at like all my forms and documents when we were in keyboarding and how I really liked to talk in front of people. And so she's like, you should do interview. So I did interview and eventually I started doing small business management and a few other things and really enjoyed all of it. So, so um, tell me a little bit more about your experience in BPA. I know that you have gone to scholarship. Yes, a BPA played a big role in the like me getting a scholarship through CTAT. Um, I had to apply and everything and explain all of how CTE has helped me and you know I wouldn't have had half the amount of hours I did without BPA. How did um, that affect your future plans like in and out of the business world? You know I wanted to go to TCU so I did and it was great. I loved it. I um, didn't think business was for me. I ended up a business minor though. Um, I ended up getting a degree in strategic communication. So I work in advertising and PR now. Um, so it taught me how to talk in front of people, to interview. So many people don't know how to interview. So BPA taught me all that and taught me you know, how to communicate with people. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for um, coming to our interview today. Of course. Um, my name is Armina Salamis today, and good night. Miss Bracey's success story is one of many that got its start in BPA, and we thank her for sharing it with us. And now to Sarah McLean, who sat down with the mayor of Eulis to talk about its new developments. Hello, I'm Sarah McLean, and today we're here with Linda Martin, the mayor of Eulis, and we're here to talk about the development of Glade Parks, which is a 200-acre mixed-use development that's been developing over the past few years. Starting off, when was the, this project first approved by the city? It was originally approved back in 2004, when the land was finally purchased by a small developer. The original owner of the 200-acre property was primarily one family and they were always resistant to selling until they found one they were very comfortable with. Pursuant to that, two other landowners, smaller landowners there uh, also sold their property. However, then came the recession and the project went bankrupt. It was purchased out of bankruptcy somewhere around 2012 by Iron Point Investments, a subsidiary of the Bass Brothers, and that's when it began. How long until the entire project is complete? We really don't have a completion date because it's being built in phases. We started with phase one, which were the urban lofts, phase two, which was the housing, phase three began the retail, and this is only the northern portion of Glade Parks. The whole southern portion still remains to be developed. And lastly, are there any future plans to expand Glade Parks more than it already is? The southern part of Glade Parks will continue to be developed, the, the area along 121. The back side of that property will have what we call Glade Park South. It will have multifamily housing along with some retail. In addition, the area between Cheeksburger, Heritage, and 121 will have a approximately 90,000 square foot grocery store with additional retail. So there is lots going on in that area and we're very, very excited. Thank you, Mary Martin, for meeting with us today. Thank you, Sarah, it was my pleasure. And I'm Sarah McLean from DFW News at 11. Glade Parks has not only excited the mayor, but the entire community, creating platforms for endless opportunities in Ulysses. Thank you, Mayor Martin, and thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. I'm Bridget Faust. And I'm Jillian Crowder. This has been DFW News at 11. Good night, Dallas.